Kde od tvých konosov, Kriste Boží, priamný západ duchovný, premýval pre nebásny svý žrtovník, zvyšli nám blahodáň pri svetoho tvojho ducha. Blahoslaven Boh náš, zaočne není povzťah čas, i na výke večný. Amin. Kristos vo skrási zmertvi, zmertvi v smerti bolo, i tým, čo to báči ťa drvo. Kristos vo skrási zmertvi, zmertvi v smerti bolo, i tým, čo to báči ťa drvo. Kristos vo skrási zmertvi, zmertvi v smerti bolo, i tým, čo to báči ťa drvo. Svetý Bože, svetý krypky, svetý bezsmertný, pomili nás. Svetý Bože, svetý krypky, Svetý Bezsmertný, pomili nás. Svetý Bože, Svetý Krypky, Svetý Bezsmertný, pomili nás. Sláva Otcu i Synu i Svetomu Duchovi, i nejni po vsek čas i na vike večni. Amin. Presvetna je Trojice, pomili nás. Gospode, očiste hrihe naši, vladeko proste bezakonja naši, Svete zavitaj iz cijele nemoći naši, imene Tvoje horave. Gospode, pomiluj, Gospode, pomiluj, Gospode, pomiluj. Slavo Otcu i Senu i Svetomu Duhovi, i nini po vsak čas i na vike večni. Amin. Otče naš, še je se na nebesa, nekaj svetice in jahvije, nekaj pride cašto tvoje, nekaj bude volja tvoja, jak na nebi, tak i na zemlji. Hlib naš na sušnji, daj nam se ohodnji, i proste nam provene naši, jak i me proščajemo ženovacem našem. I ne vede nas v spokusu, ali vezvole nas pri glukavom. Amin. Po Tvoje je sadstvo, je sela i slava, Otca i Sena i Svetova Duha, nenji i po vsak čas i na vike večni. Amin. Gospode pomiluj, 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 Gospode pomiluj. Slavu Otcu i Senu i Svetomu Duhovi, i nejni povsek čas i na vike večni. Amin. Pridite, poklonim se, carevi našemu Bohu, Predite poklonim se Hristovi, carevi našemu Bohu. Predite poklonim se i prepadim do samoho Hospoda Isusa Hrista, carja i Boha našoho. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving and undivided Trinity, always now and forever and ever. to those in the tombs, giving life. Christos us Christ is mort, with smart, with smart, with all the Lord. And to the Lord, Glory to God in the highest, and earth peace among men, good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men good will. Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, why did those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. With my voice I cried to the Lord, and from his holy mountain he heard me. I lay down and slept, I woke again, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousands of people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. 
free of stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, I woke again, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my, for my iniquities have overwhelmed me like a heavy burden. They have weighed upon me. My wounds grew foul and festered because of my foolishness. I was afflicted and bowed down completely. I went mourning all the day long. For my soul was filled with mockery and there was no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared at the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before you is all my desire and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has left me, and even though my light of my eyes has failed me, my friends and companions approached and stood still while my closest of kids, kin stood far off. Those who sought to my life took to violence, and those who wished me evil spoke lies, contemplating treachery all the day long. But I remained like the deaf and heard them not, like a mute not opening his mouth. I became like one who does not hear, in whose mouth there is no defense. For in you, O Lord, I have hope. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will listen. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Those who boast against me when my feet are shaken. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is continually within me. Indeed, I confess my iniquity. I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies are alive and stronger than I. And those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who render evil for good slandered me because I follow after righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord, my God. Do not stay afar from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, my God. Do not stay afar from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. <clears throat> o God, my God, early I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you. How many times has my flesh thirsted for you in a dry and weary land without water? So I have appeared before you in your holy place to behold your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life, and my lips shall declare your praise. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. <clears throat> May my soul be filled as with marrow and fatness, and my joyful lips will praise your name. If I remember you on my bed in the early morning, I meditate on you. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of you, and over to the power of the sword, and the prey of the jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth of liars has been silenced. In the early morning I meditate on you, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has clung to you, your right hand has upheld me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you. God. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried out in that night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my petition, O Lord. For my soul was filled with troubles in my life during the two eighties. <clears throat> I was counted among those who go down into the pit. I became like those who have no help, like those forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your hand. You have put me into the depths of the pit, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger rested heavily upon me. With all your waves you overwhelmed me. You distanced my friends from me and made me an abomination in their sight. <clears throat> I was handed over and could not walk away. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day long. I stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, O physicians? Raise them up to praise you. <clears throat> Shall anyone declare your mercy in the grave and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? And I, O Lord, I cried out to you in the morning. My prayer comes before you. Why, O Lord, do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth. I was raised high and humbled and distressed. Your wrath has swept over me, your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like water all the day long. From all sides they beset me together. <clears throat> you have put far from me every friend and all my acquaintances because of my misery. 
O Lord, God of my salvation, by day and at night I cried out before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your iniquities, he heals all your diseases. He redeems your life from corruption, he crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth will be renewed like an eagle's. The Lord shows mercy and judgment for all who are oppressed. <clears throat> he made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and abounding in mercy. His anger will come to an end. He will not keep his wrath forever. He did not deal with us according to our, our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy and those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are made, and remember that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, he shall flourish like the flower of the field. But the wind passes through it, and it will be gone, it will no longer recognize its place. But the mercy of the Lord is everlasting from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. And bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, doing his bidding to obey the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, doing his will. And bless the Lord, all you his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. <clears throat> o Lord, listen to my prayer, give ear to my petition in your truth, answer me in your righteousness. And enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy pursued my soul, he humbled my life to the ground. He has made me to dwell in darkness, as those who have been long dead. And my spirit became weary with grief, my heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered on the works of your hands. I stretched out my hands to you like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. <clears throat> Do not turn your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Make me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have put my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May a good spirit lead me on level ground. <clears throat> for your name's sake, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver my soul from affliction. And in your mercy, you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who afflict my soul. For I am your servant, <clears throat> Lord, hear my prayer, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Lord, hear my prayer, and enter not into judgment with your servant. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and ever, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have a mercy. For the peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have a mercy. For peace to all the world, for the well-being of God's holy churches, and for unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have a mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have a mercy. For the most holy universal God, your Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have a mercy. For our most blessed Patriarch, Sutuslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God loving Bishop David, the reverend priest with the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, have a mercy. For our nation, for our government and for all the military, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have a mercy. For this city, for every city and country, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have a mercy. For fair and for weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for the peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have a mercy. For the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. 
Wrath and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Oh Lord, have mercy. Help and save for mercy and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Oh Lord, have mercy. Remember in our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. God the Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for his good and his merciful love endures forever. <laughs> God the Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They circled me and surrounded me, but I fought them back in the name of the Lord. God the Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I shall not die but live and recount the deeds of the Lord. God the Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The stone the builders had rejected, this very one became the cornerstone. This came about through the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God the Lord has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, while the tomb was sealed, O oh Christ God, you don't as life from the sepulchre. And while the doors were shut, you came to your disciples the resurrection of all. We knew a wing, a right spirit in us through them. According to your great mercy. How oh, the tomb was sealed, O Christ God, you died as life from the sepulchre. And while the doors were shut, you came to your disciples the resurrection of all. Renewing a right spirit in us through them, according to your great mercy. Oh, while the tomb was sealed, O oh Christ God, you done as life from the sepulchre. And while the doors were shut, you came to your disciples the resurrection of all. Renewing a right spirit in us through them, according to your great mercy. The disciples were hiding out of the fear of the Jews, and they gathered in the upper room in Zion. You stood in their midst, O Lord of goodness. And though the doors were closed, you appeared and filled them with joy. You showed them your hands and the wounds of your side, saying to the doubting disciple, stretching forth your hand, and know that it is I, 
who suffered for you. Glory be I to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. The disciples were hiding out of the fear of the Jews, and they gathered in the upper room in Zion. You stood in their midst, O Lord of goodness, and though the doors were closed, you appeared and filled them with joy. You showed them your hands and the wound of your side, saying to the doubting disciple, Stretch forth your hand and know that it is I who have suffered for you. Although other doors were closed, O Christ, you appeared to your disciples as the life of all. You all showed them your hands, your feet, and your side to strengthen their faith in your resurrection from the grave. But Thomas was not with them, and so he said, If I do not see with my own eyes, I will not be convinced by your words. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Although the doors were closed, O Christ, you appeared, dear disciples, as the life of all. You showed them your hands, your feet, your side, to strengthen their faith in your resurrection from the grave. But Thomas was not with them, and so he said, If I do not see with my own eyes, I will not be Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, O you servants of the Lord. O you servants of the Lord. Alleluia. 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 You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, of the house of our God. Alleluia. 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 O Lord, your name stands forever, unforgotten from age to age. From age to age. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who dwells in Jerusalem. In a Jerusalem, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord for you. The love endures forever. Alleluia. 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 Who made firm the waters on the earth? Alleluia. For is the love endures forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Snatched us away from our foes, Alleluia. For His love endures forever, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. To the
the God of heavens, give thanks, alleluia, for his love endures forever, alleluia, alleluia. Because you descended into it is for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. you descended into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. For he burst the gates of bronze, and shattered the iron Because you descend into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. He led them forth from darkness and gloom, and broke their chains to pieces. Because you descended into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. The Lord arose and stole from sleep, and he smote their enemies. Oh, we Because you descended into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. Because you descended into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, we You descended into Hades for our sake, and you resurrected all with you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, God. We extol you, all I give in Christ, 
because you descended into it is for us. And you resurrected all with you. Blessed are you, Lord. Teach me your stuff. The assembly of angels was amazed. Beholding you, Savior, numbered among the dead. You have destroyed the power of death and raised up Adam with yourself, setting all men free from Hades. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statue. Why do you mingle sweet-smelling ointment with tears of pity, O you woman disciples? Cried the angel who shone as lightning within the tomb to the myrrh bearing a women. Behold the tomb and understand, for the Savior has risen from the grave. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statue. The woman bearing sweet smelling ointment hastened early in the morning to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared before them and he said, The time for lamentation has ceased. Weep not, but tell the apostles of his resurrection. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statue. The woman bearing sweet-smelling ointment came to your tomb, O Savior. But they heard the angels say to them, Why do you count the living among the dead? For as God, he has risen from the tomb. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship the Father together with his Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Now and forever and ever, amen. O Virgin, you have borne the giver of life. You have delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you have brought a joy in place of sorrow. He who took flesh from you is both God and a man, has raised up once more those who had fallen from life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help and save, save, have mercy, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember in our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. It is your name and glorified. <laughs>
is your kingdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. When the Lord rose from the grave and appeared to his disciples in a marvelous manner, he said, Thomas, why having seen my side and the marks of all the nails, why do you doubt my resurrection? Thomas called the twin, answered the Creator, You are truly my Lord and my God.
place him in his mighty hammer. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. That we may be deemed worthy of hearing the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, the Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord, glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, the eleven disciples made their way to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had summoned them. At the sight of him, those who had entertained doubts fell down in homage. Jesus came forward and addressed them in these words, Full authority has been given to me, both in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to carry out everything I have commanded you, and know that I am with you always until the end of the world. <laughs> Glory be to you. Having seen the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sin and lesser one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for you are our God. And we know no other than you. We call upon your name. Come all you faithful. Let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord. We sing the praises of his resurrection. For by enduring the cross for us, he destroyed the death of our death. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. According to the multitude of your mercies, blot out my offense. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity and my sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified when you speak and victorious when you judge. <clears throat> Behold, in wickedness I was conceived, and in sins my mother bore me. You see, you have loved truth. You have shown me the hidden and secret things of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness. The bones that were crushed shall rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my lawlessness. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your sovereign spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. 
Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall ring out your justice. Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you wanted sacrifice, I would have given it, and you will not take pleasure in burnt offering. A sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, humbled and contrite heart, God will not spurn. Deal favorably, O Lord, with Zion and with pleasure, and let the walls of Jerusalem be rebuilt. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, oblations, and whole burnt offerings. Then they will lay calves upon your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the prayers of the apostles. O merciful Lord, cleanse me from the multitude of my transgressions, now and forever and ever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O merciful Lord, cleanse me from the multitude of my transgressions. Have mercy on me, O God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he foretold. Say your people of God and bless your inheritance. Watch over your word with favor and compassion. Lift up the strength of your Orthodox Christian people and send down upon us the riches of your mercy by the prayers of our most pure Lady of the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, by the intercessions of the holy, bodiless powers and of heaven, by the prayers of the honorable, glorious prophet, friar and baptizer John, of the holy, glorious and all praiseful the apostles, and of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Myra and Lycia, of the Holy, Cyril and Methodius, equal to the Apostles, teachers of the Slavic nations, of the Holy and faithful Vladimir, Grand Prince and equal to the Apostles, of our Holy Priest Martyr, Joseph, of the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and God-bearing Fathers Anthony and Theodosius of the Monastery of the Caves, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Jack, Joachim and Anna, of Saint Joseph, at whose church it is, and Saint Apostle Thomas, and our venerable father, John the Ancient Hermit, whose day it, it is, and of all the saints, we beseech you, O most merciful Lord, hear the prayers of us sinners, God and Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us sing a hymn of victory. 
all you people, to the one who delivered on the people of Israel, from the heart server to the Pharaoh, for he is covered with glory. <clears throat> glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. O Christ, strengthen me with on the unshakable rock of your commandments. Enlighten me in the brightness of your face. For there was no one holy but you, Lord. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. As you appeared to your disciples and gave them your peace, come also to us, O God, our Savior, and save us. Awesome is the mystery of your work of salvation, O Christ. The prophet Habakkuk saw it from afar. As he penetrated the divine secrets, he said, O oh, lover of mankind, you have come for the salvation of your people. Glory to your holy resurrection, O oh Lord. In this night vigil we sing to you, O Christ, equal to the Father in eternity, and the Savior of our souls. Grant peace to the world, O, lover, o Lord and lover of mankind. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. You have saved your prophet from the sea monster, O lover of mankind. Now I beseech you, draw me out of the abyss of my sin. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. With his searching eye. No, with a searching hand, Thomas explored your life-given side, O Christ God. For when you entered while the doors were shut, he called out to the Savior, who gave him such boldness to be able to touch his blazing door. Surely it was the one who was touched, for if he had not given it a hideous power to a hand made of clay, how could it have touched the wound which shook both heaven and earth? And Thomas received the grace to touch Christ and shout out to him, you are my Lord and my God. The people called together at the sound of the instruments, had to worship the idols of the tyrant. But as their fathers before them, the young men singing hymns of Zion with David, resisted the order of the tyrant and changed the flames into fresh dew. They sang the hymn of a praise. Blessed are you, O our God and the God of our fathers. Glory to your holy resurrection, O he who protected the youth in the flaming furnace and who came down to them in the form of an angel. He is the Lord. Sing to him and exalt him throughout the ages. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Let us magnify with hymns the Teotokos and the Mother of the Light. Velichai Dushamaya Hospoda, Iduk Miradir Bodhis Pasimai, Chasni Shuri Taru Vimir, Inezivianos Lami Shuri Tsarafi. Shabazatli Nyabas Lava Paradila Sushubara de Chutabavale Chayava 
Powiem Janusz, ja na pokoru szlujni swojej, pospowiedni ublożaty mutne na sierody. Czesniejszy wicharu wymił i na zwiniano sławniejszy wicera wymił. Co bez otlinia, bo słowa porodyła, Suszu borodicu tebe veličajemo, velike povčini v mnim se mohutni v svetenja joho, milosedja joho z rodu vridna tih jak i bojacja joho, česnišu vitjaru vimiju i nezrivnjano slavnišu vicera fimiju. Čo bez otlinja bo slovo porodila, sušću bo rodiću tebe veličajemo. Vin vijevil pod uramno svoho, rozvil hordih u zadumah i ihnih srdec. Česnišu vitjer uvimil, i nezivnjano slavnišu vicera fimil. Što bez otlinja bo slovo porodila, sušću bo rodicu tebe veličajemo. Mohutnih skinu s prestolju v pinjavu horu smirenih, Nasete v blahame holodnih pahatek, že vidi slav s porožnimi rukami. Česnišu vicheru vimiju i nezrivnjano slavnišu vicera pimiju. Čo bez otlinja bo slovo porodila, sušću bo rodiću tebe veličaje. Vim prehornu v Izraelja sluhu svoho sadavše svoje melosredja, jako bi cjel budbat kam našem Avramovi o potomstvu poviki. Česnišu vitjeru vimiju i nezivnjano slavnišu vicera fimiju. Čo bez otlinja bo slovo porodil, Sušću bo rodicu tebe veličajemo. O mojom svedijent lamp, o God bearer, you are the brilliant glory of the Lord, and are exalted above all creatures. With our hymns we extol you. Glory to you. On this most bright day, filled with the light of your grace, O Christ, you appeared to your disciples in all your beauty and goodness. With our hymns we extol you. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Your side was examined and touched by a Yet it was not burned by your divinity. With our hymns we extol you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O Christ, you rose from the tomb, and you are our God. Though we have not seen your resurrection with our own eyes, yet we eagerly believe in you, and with our hymns we extol you. Svitisja, svitisja, no virusalim, slava bo hospodnja na tobi zasjajala, Radi nini veselisja sione, a ti čista borodice vtišajsja. 
a vos crescinam senato. Seixa, meu Deus, pode me pomolim se a. A vos pode pomelo. Zastupes você pomelo e o coronino as vozes tuas blaudatio. Vos pode pomelo. Preciso preciso para blaudatio no slavno vladeciso nosso bohorodicio e preciso de vos Maria. Za svima svjetima pominuće se mi sebe odenodno i vse žitja naše Hristu Bovi vidajmo. Tobi, Gospodi, Bo Tebe hvalak s ti sile nebesni i Tobi slavu vasalajemo u Cu i Senu i Svjetomu Duhovi, nini po vseh časti na vike vični. Amin. All is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Over all is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. O Thomas, do not refuse to believe in me, for I was wounded for your sake. Examine my wounds with your hand. Be of one mind with the other disciples, and proclaim that I am the living God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Today the fragrance of spring arises, and the new creation rejoices. Today the locks are pulled from the door of the disbelief of Thomas, and the nails of doubt are broken by the presence of the Lord. In an act of faith, the Apostle confesses, You are indeed my Lord and my God. Let us and that breathes. Give praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. To you is to all praise, O God. Praise him all his angels, praise him all his hosts, to you is due all praise, O God. Praise him, sun and moon, praise him, all stars and lows. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and your waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spoke and they were made. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and to the ages of ages. He set forth his law and it will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all ocean dust. Fire and hell, snow and ice, stormy winds that obey his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Wild animals. And all cattle, creeping things, and winged birds, kings of the earth, and all peoples, rulers, and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, the elders with young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his glory is above earth and heaven. And he shall exalt the horn of his people, let him belongs to all his faithful. The sons of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker, let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and horn. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he exalts the meek with salvation. The faithful shall boast in glory, they shall sing for joy on their how the praises of God shall be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the people. To bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with iron bars. To execute a judgment inscribed this glorious for all his faithful. Praise God in his holy places. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise him. In the abundance of his greatness, after your wondrous resurrection.
destruction, O Lord and source of life. You entered even the doors were locked, just as you did not break the seals of the tomb. You filled your glorious disciples with joy. Praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with harp and a lyre. Uh, after your wondrous resurrection, O Lord and source of life, you entered even though the doors were locked. Just as you did not break the seals of the tomb, you filled your glorious disciples with joy, and in your goodness you gave them your spirit of truth. Praise him with timbrel and dance, Praise Him with strings and pipes. When you appeared to your disciples, the Lord, Thomas, who was called the twin, was not with them. Thus, he did not believe in your resurrection. And he said to those who saw you, Unless I place my finger into his side and into the marks of a Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes gives praise to the Lord. When you appear to your disciple, O Lord, Thomas, who is called the twin, was not with them. Thus he did not believe in your resurrection. And he said to those who saw you, Unless I place my finger into his side and into the marks of the nails, I will not believe that he is risen. Arise, O Lord God, let your end be. Extend your hand and realize that I am flesh and bones. Know that I truly have a human body, said Christ. Do not persist in your unbelief, but now believe. And Thomas responded, You are my Lord and my God. Glory. Lord, I will give thanks to you with my whole heart. I will recount all your wonderful works. Oh, Thomas, touch me as you wish. Extend your hand and realize that I am flesh and bones. Know that I 
truly have a human body, said Christ. Do not persist in your unbelief, but now believe. And Thomas responded, You are my Lord and my God. Glory to your holy resurrection. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and, and to, to the Holy Spirit. Blessed, O Virgin Mother of God, although the one who is incarnate of you, Hades was chained at him, revived the curse, wiped out. Eve set free death, put to death, and we ourselves were brought back to life. That is why we cry out in praise. Blessed are you, O Christ, our God who finds in this your good pleasure, glory to you. Glory to you, who has shown us the light. Glory, glory to, to God, God in light. Yes. And, and to his people on earth, peace and, and good will. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you. We glorify you, we thank you for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, mighty God and the Father, with the Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Lord, all the God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Take away the sins of the world. Hear prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are holy. You alone are Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Bless you day after day, and, and praise your name forever and ever. Count us worthy, O oh Lord, of passing this day without sin. Blessed are you, O oh Lord God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is your name. Oh, Lord, you have been our refuge from 
from one generation to Сыну и Святому Духови, и ныне по всяк час и на веки вечни. Аминь. Святый Бессмертный, помилуй нас. Святый Боже, святый Боже, по великим милости Твою молимо, чтобы вы слухали и помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Еще молимо за святейшего Вселенского архирея нашего Франциска Папа Римского, и за блаженнейшего Патриарха нашего Святослава, и за правосвященнейшего митрополита нашего Кирна Френтия, во любого епископа нашего Кир Давида, за отцов наших духовных и всего Христе братьев нашу. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Еще молим за Бога обереженный народ наш за правление и за все войско. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. За предстоящих людей, что ожидают от Тебя великой и богатой милости, за те, что творят на милости, не за всех православных христиан. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Помилостивый человек, любит Бог, если и 
Ими тобі слава посилаємо, цю сину і святому духові, нині повзе час і навіки вічні. Амінь. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save the mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Let us all day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for a peace of the whole world, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For a Christian and our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. Remember in our most holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. To the Lord, to you, Lord. Holy Lord, you live on high and yet stoop to look down upon earth, and with your divine eyes you see all creatures. Before you we bow down in spirit and body, and we pray you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling and bless us. If we have sinned in any way, either deliberately or through human frailty, forgive us, for you are good and you give us earthly and heavenly blessings, and you alone love all. For it is you alone who have mercy and save us, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. Give the blessing. Blessed is he who is Christ our God always, now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh, God, make firm the holy Orthodox faith forever and ever. O oh, most holy Mother of God, Lord, save all. Shine, shine, O New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Exult now and be glad, O Zion, and you, O chaste Mother of God. Take delight in the resurrection of your Son. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. And from the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of St. Joseph at whose church this is, and of all the saints will have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Christos, Christos, 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to you, our God, glory be to you. Have, um, Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he has worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Glory be to the Father who created us, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory Glory be to the Son who redeemed us, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Holy Spirit, who sanctifies us and confirms us in the holy Catholic and Orthodox faith, now and forever and ever. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. For the salvation of souls and the conversion of many. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. When they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or period that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, 
Suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. For the souls of the departed, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as the fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speak in the native language of each. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you. And listen to what I say. Jesus of Nazareth, this man you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law, this Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. For the faithful witness of all Christians to the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Dermission of the Theotokos. At your departing, O Virgin Mother of God, to him who was ineffably born of you, James, the first bishop of Jerusalem and brother of the Lord, was there, and so was Peter, the honored leader and chief of the disciples and the whole sacred fellowship of the apostles. Though dispersed throughout the world, clouds caught the apostles up into the air, and they were brought together to form a single choir before your most pure body. And bearing you with reverence in Gethsemane, they sang aloud the words of Gabriel, Rejoice, O full of grace, O unwedded virgin, the Lord is with you. Entreat your Son and our God to save our souls. Arise, O Lord, into your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of the covenant was seen within his temple. For good and peaceful death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the glorification of Mary in heaven and her holy protection. Let us gloriously sing David's song to the young bride, to the mother of Christ our God and the King of all. O Master, the Queen stood at your right hand, clothed in golden robes and adorned with celestial beauty. You have affirmed her, chosen from among women, and deigned to be born of her because of your great mercy. You have given her as a help to your people, to build up and protect your servants from all misfortunes, O only blessed one. Let us praise the Immaculate Queen of all, the most pure Virgin, the Mother of Christ our God, for she always mercifully extends her hands to her Son. Let us fervently sing to her, Rejoice, O protection, defense, and salvation of our souls. For greater devotion to Mary, Amen. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Rejoice, Mother of God, Virgin Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For you have borne Christ the Savior and Redeemer of our souls. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. It is truly right to bless you, O God, bearing one, as the ever-blessed and immaculate Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and by far more glorious than the seraphim. Ever a virgin, you gave birth to God the Word. O true Mother of God, we magnify you. We flee to the shelter of your mercy, O Virgin Mother of God. Do not reject our prayers of anguish, but free us from tribulations, O only pure and blessed one. Most glorious, ever Virgin Mother of God, receive our prayers and bring them to your Son and our God, that through you he may save our souls. All you heavenly powers, holy angels and archangels, pray to God for us sinners. Holy, glorious, and all praiseworthy apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all you saints, pray to God for us sinners. The Father is our hope, the Son our refuge, the Holy Spirit our protection. O Holy Trinity, glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, and of all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is time to act for the Lord, Master, give the blessing. Blessed be your God, always, now, and forever, and ever. Pray for me, Master. May the Lord direct your steps. Remember me, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember me in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and ever. Amen.
Master, give that blessing. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Seek in the suffering for those help, help captive and for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save and mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember in our most holy most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Have and saint, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember, you are most holy, the immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and every Virgin Mary. Together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Let them vanish, so let them vanish as wax melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs, giving life. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God. And let the righteous ones rejoice. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tombs, giving life. In the churches, bless God the Lord from the fountains of Israel. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs, giving life.
of the Sadducees, being filled with jealousy, arrested the apostles and put them in public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors, brought them out and said, Go, stand in the temple and tell the people the whole message about this life. Wisdom, let us be attentive.
for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side, and then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see his hands, in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And truly, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Excuse me, on 
Holy Friday, Good Friday, we're here in this whole church because it becomes a tomb. And we lay the body of Christ in the tomb. But on the third day, last Sunday, this is the eighth day of that, of that day of Pascha, we come and the tomb is empty. We celebrate Pascha, Easter, in an empty tomb. And our faith is based upon that because he is risen. We've heard this week in the scripture readings, or we will hear very soon, some of the following witnesses. Mary Magdalene, she goes early in the morning uh, to the tomb. It's recorded in John chapter 20. She went while it was still dark. And this signifies her grief and her hopelessness when, when she thought that her master was dead and that the body was missing. But little did she know she was speaking to the risen one and he revealed who he was to her by simply saying, Mary. She said, he said her name, Mary. And she responded, Rabboni, Rabbi, teacher, my master. And his appearance after his rising from the dead brought her unbounded joy because she ran to the disciples to say, he's risen. Simon Peter, the one who denied his teacher and master three times while he was before the Sanhedrin, carried great shame and sorrow, but the risen Lord appeared to him. Do you remember? They were out fishing. And Peter looked, and he said, It's the Lord! And he jumped out of the boat, and as quickly as possible through the water, ran to him and embraced him. By the way, that simple act that Peter did signifies something important in our spiritual lives. It's when we recognize sin that we not we should not be moaning. We heard about the two disciples, Cleopas and the other, on the road to Emmaus, both having despaired and doubted, having seen the Messiah crucified, died and buried. But the risen Lord appeared to them on that road to Emmaus, and he explained to them in a rational manner that everything that was foretold before had been fulfilled in Jesus. And when they asked him to stay with them for a meal, it was when he broke bread that they realized who he was. And that personal encounter with him on the road and in that room where he broke the bread, which is a Christian code word of the Eucharist, in the Eucharist they personally encountered him. And then we hear today about the disciples in the upper room, shut off from the world in fear of the Jews, perhaps mourning and weeping in deep anguish. Our Lord told them before his death that he would go away and they would experience this weeping, this mourning, and this anguish, and that he would come back to them and that they would see him. And this is fulfilled in today's encounter that we hear in the gospel. When they saw the Lord, they were, they were glad, it says. What does glad mean? It means filled with joy, and then he bestows upon them his peace, filled with his peace. And once filled with his peace, the Lord, the very mission that was given to him, to participate in his mission. In order to do that, the disciples need to remain in Jesus. And in that breathing upon the disciples, remember, that, does that, that breathing may give to some of you, a memory of Genesis, where the Lord creates the world, how the Spirit hovered over the waters. So he breathed upon them and told them to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The disciples were consecrated to his mission, 
by that gift of the Holy Spirit. By the way, he prayed that they would be consecrated in the truth, in his mission, in the Garden of Gethsemane. So we see that prayer fulfilled even today. And if you forgive any sin, they shall be forgiven. If you withhold for any sin, it is withheld. This is the power of the forgiveness of sins given to the church. But that's a whole other homily for another day. Patriarch Svetoslav said just the other day, with regard to um, Pascha and celebrating it in the world in 2020, this year we are celebrating Christ's Pascha in particular circumstances. In order to go deeper into this event, let us remember how and when the apostles first met the risen Christ. How his closest disciples perceived the news of Christ's resurrection. They were not in the temple, they were not near the tomb, they were in the house behind closed doors for fear of the Jews at that time, and perhaps others. And there they met the resurrected Savior. He walked through locked doors, and he stood among them, and he says to them, Peace be to you. I think this year's way we celebrate Easter, how we meet with the risen Christ, is reminiscent of those events, those circumstances of that moment of meeting. How we're all, he's referring to how we're all isolated within our own homes. He says, the Lord sanctifies our homes on our hearts, and he sits with us at our Easter breakfast. For his next question to the dismayed disciples, and this is another part of the gospel, do you have anything to eat? He turns their fear into joy, the feeling of loss into an experience of great, to an experience of great gain of the personal presence of Christ, who through the cross, the suffering, and the resurrection, triumphantly left the tomb and came to their home. That's what our patriarch has to say. I think very wise words. The Lord, my brothers and sisters, comes to us in our own upper room today. He knows the fears that we have whether they be of the pandemic, whether it be of being isolated, and some of us are alone, whether it be for any other fear, whether it be a medical condition, a psychological condition, a financial condition, a relational condition, and on and on and on. The Lord knows that fear. And today, He shows us His hands and His side, and we are glad. We are filled with joy, and we are filled with His peace, because the Holy Spirit is upon us. He dispels all fear. He dispels all doubt. We no longer need to doubt, because we know by testimonies, by witnesses, personal witnesses, that the resurrection happened. We know that Thomas who wanted that scientific proof, put his fingers, his finger into the holes that the nails created, and he put his hand into the side of our Lord, wounds now glorified with his glory. And that scientific data is there contained in the Gospels, and has continued to be preached year after year after year for over 2,000 years that Christ is risen. Indeed, He is risen. And we have much to be joyful for, much to be glad. At the seminary, Father Ephraim is our spiritual director, and, and in his homilies this past week, he has been always saying, Christ is risen, Christos is Christ, and we are His witnesses. And it struck me, because I've never heard any other priest during Pascha always say that at the beginning of every homily. And we are his witnesses. And I have to tell you, my brothers and sisters, we are his witnesses. No longer in Jerusalem, 
no longer in Judah, no longer in Samaria, but indeed to the ends of the world. We are far away from Israel, aren't we? From Jerusalem. And the gospel has reached our ears. And we witness together as a body to the risen one. And we witness personally to our risen one as well. He comes to us personally. He's not going to appear to us like the disciples of Thomas. But he has appeared to others like Paul on his road to the, on the road to Damascus. And Paul personally experienced our Lord. Take a look at Scholzenitzen and his writings, Malcolm Muggeridge, Corey Tenbu, Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, Padre Pio. We can speak of the many martyrs of our church who have personally encountered the risen one to affirm their faith, to dispel fear and doubt, and to go with confidence and to live with confidence in this world that he is risen. That's what matters. That's what matters. We can worry about all sorts of conspiracy theories about how Bill Gates is into eugenics. And we can worry about this, that, or the other thing. I don't know if Bill Gates is in eugenics. I've just heard that. And I don't want to <laughs> uh, put any myths out there. But that doesn't matter. What matters is Christ is risen. And how we are witnessing to that in the world today. We are his witnesses. So my brothers and sisters, how are we going to accomplish that? Remain attached, united to Christ by being a branch attached to a vine. Pray one on a personally and pray together. We will have a chance to come together again. But for the time being in our homes, pray together. Don't be afraid to tell others that Christ is risen. In your day-to-day -day life, with your families and on phone calls and video conferences and your friends, if you have to go to the store and, and deal with the cashier, believe me, with everything that cashiers have to go through, Christ is risen, that's good news. It may, it may plant a seed in someone. It may water a seed that has been dormant and it will certainly by sharing our faith allow that faith in us to grow into a great big bush where all the birds of the air can come and nestle. Christ is risen. Indeed he is we risen. are his witnesses. Let us all save us our whole soul and our own mind. Let us have mercy. Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, in the greatest of your compassion. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for our most holy universal Pontius Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed Patriarch Svetoslav, our most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, for our government and for all the military. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray that for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Doris Semutu, who has fallen asleep and for our forgiveness of her offenses, voluntary and involuntary, that the Lord God may place her soul where all the just repose, hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
We also pray for a people who are present, who await your great and bountiful mercies, for those who have been kind to us and for our Orthodox Christian. kingdom, all your orthodox Christians, always, now, and forever, and ever. We have the Lord God, and we have the Lord God, and we have the Lord God, and all of our prosperous years, and all time, and all of our prayers, and ever. May the Lord of God remember this kingdom, all the hosts throughout the world, persecuted for faith in Christ Jesus, always, now, and forever, and ever. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our most holy universal pontiff Francis, Pope of Rome, his beatitude, our patriarchs of Islam, our most reverend metropolitan Lawrence, our God-loving Bishop David, all the priestly, diaconal, and religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and all the military, the noble and ever-to-be-remembered founders and benefactors of this holy church. And may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Orthodox Christians, now always and forever and ever.
body from the tree, he wrapped it with a clean shroud and with aromatic spices, placed it in a new tree. Let us complete our prayer for the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gift that has been presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and from whether it was faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. So that we may be of one mind, confessing. Your Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in being and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. Eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God for true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offering peace, the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We have lifted them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just to
sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. We offer to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. We seek not you, we bless you, we thank you. Master, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Master, bless the holy chalice. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Master, bless them both. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be for communicant sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, and confidence before you, but for judgment and condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational and unbloody worship for those who have gone to their rest in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous soul that finished this life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been presented, 
and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let our loving God who has received them as a spiritual fragrance upon his holy heavenly and mystical altar may send down on us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and misfortune. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help and save and mercy and protect us about by your grace. Lord have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, only peaceful and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us to the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us to the Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. Grant us to the Lord. It is good and beneficial for our souls and for a peaceful the whole world. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this to the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this to the Lord. For a Christian and to our lives, one that is painless and ashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this to the Lord. Having asked for you fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you the Heavenly God, Father and Savior. down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads to you, for they have not bowed them down to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth the ways that lie before us all, for our good, in accord with each one's personal need, sail with seafarers, travel with travelers, heal the sick, a physician of our souls and our bodies. Through the grace, mercies, and loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, Together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from the holy dwelling, from the throne of glory in your kingdom. Come to sanctify us, you who are seated on high with the Father, and are invisibly present here with us. Deign to give to us with your mighty hand your most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. God, be merciful to me, sin. God, be merciful to me, sin. God, be merciful to me, sin. Let us be attentive. The holy things for the
Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. Accept me this day, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not tell the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be unto me not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. I have sinned without number. Forgive me. Approach with the fear of God and with faith. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling their poison, and to lose his mother's heart, he is My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy mystery. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you enter and abide within me and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and my body, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Savior, people of the Lord, and bless your inheritance, Christ is risen.
Stand on right, having received the divine only immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life giving us the mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. This whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Kowalczyk, 
Father Slavko Dumic, who celebrated his birthday last Saturday, to Ron Bernard and David Kostuk, and to all who have celebrated their birthdays or anniversaries this past week or will be celebrating this upcoming week. May God bless you with health, happiness, and peace for many, many happy years. Namayanita. Namayanita, Nita, Namayanita.
Благослови, Владико! Благословено царство Отця і Сина, і Святого Духа, нині во всяк час і навіки вічні. Господи, помолимся. Замер за сот и спасение душ наши, Господи, помолимся. Замер за освету добрый стан святой Божьей церкви, зиднанием все, Господи, помолимся. Святий храм це і ти, що з вірою побожністю і страхом Божим ході до нього, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. За святішого Вселенського архірея нашого Франциска Папу Римського, Господеві, помолімся. За блаженнішого патріарха нашого Святослава і за пресвященнішого митрополита нашого Кир Лаврентія і за боліву єпископа нашого Кир Давида, чесне пресвітерство Христі Діяконство, за весь причити людей, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. За Бог бережений народ наш за правління і за все військо, Господеві, помолімся. За місто це і за кожне місто країну, і за те, що вірою живуть не Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. За те, що плавають, подорожують, за недужі, страждаючи, полонених і за спасіння їх, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, Щоб визволитися нам і до всякої скорби, ні війнужди, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. Заступи, спаси, помилуй, хорони нас, Боже, Твоєю благодаттю. Господи, помилуй. 
Пресвету Пречесту Преблагословену Славну Владичицу Нашу Богородицу и Пресну Єву Марию, за всіма святыми, поминувши сами себе один одного, и все життя наше Христу Богу віддаймо. Тоби, Господи! Благодарю за всяку славу, честь и поклонение, а что и сыну, и сюда буду уповим, нині по всяк час и на веки вечные. Слава хвалі Його, молитвами Богородиці, спаса, спаси нас. Скажіть Богові, які страшні діла Твої, задля великої сили Твої підлащуються Тобі вороги Твої. Співає мені Твоя мов Савішні, молитвами Богородиці, спаси, спаси нас, слава. Нашу Богородицу і Пресну Діву Марію, з усіма святими, поминувши самі себе один одного, і все життя наше Христу Богові віддаймо. Yes. 
Слови влади почастри святого. Боти святий єси Боже наш, і тобі славу славаємо Отцю і Сину і Святому Духу ми, нині і по всяк час. І на віки вічні. Великий 
Господь наш, і велика сила Його, і розумові Його немає. Премудрист! До діянь святих апостолів читання. Будьмо уважні! Тими днями руками апостолів робилося багато знаків і чудес у народі. Всі вони перебували однодушно у притворі Соломона, і ніхто сотвор, сотвороній не насмілювався до них предстати. Однак народ хвалив їх вельмі. Віруючих деталів більше і більше приставало до Господа. Сила жінок і чоловіків, так що і на вулиці виносили недужих і клали на постеля і на ліжках, щоб як і і тимете Петро буде й тінь його, на кого не будь з них упала. Сила люди збиралась навіть з декот з довколишніх місць Єрусалиму, несучи хворих та ті, що їх мучили нечисті духи, і вони всі. Відуш, відужували, устав тоді первосвященик і всі ті, що були з ним, то була секта судаків, і повні заздрощів наклали руки на апостолів і вкинули їх до хромацької в'язниці. Але вночі ангел Господен відчинив двері в'язниці і вивіше їх мовив, і дід, і ставши з храмі, говорить до народу всі слова життя цього. Вір тобі. Премудрість будьмо уважні. Аллилуйя, 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 Аллилуйя. Слави владико, благо святителя святого апостола Івана Листа Івана. Бог молит вам і святого славу, сиквально апостола Івана Листа Івана. Нехай дасть тобі слово благовістити силою великою для сповнення Євангелія возлюблена сина свого, Господа нашого Ісуса Христа. Амінь. Ремудрий спроси Вислухаймо святого Євангелія, мир і Від Івана святого Євангелія читання. Слава! Коли 
коли настав вечір того самого дня першого дня в тижні, а двері були замкнені там, де були учні, зі страху перед юдеями прийшов, прийшов Ісус, став посередині і каже їм «Мир вам!» Сказавши це, показав їм руки і бік, і зраділи учні, побачивши Господа. І знову Ісус їм каже, «Мир вам! Як мене послав Отець, так і я посилаю вас!» Сказавши це, дихну на них і каже, «Прийміть Духа Святого!» Кому відпустите гріхи, відпуститься їм, кому ж затримаєте, затримаються. Томаш один із дванадцятьох на прізиску Близнюк не був із ними, коли прийшов Ісус. Інші учні йому казали, ми бачили Господа. Він відповів, як не побачу на його руках ран від свяхів, і не вкладу мого пальця у місце, де були цвяхи, і коли руки моєї не вкладу у його бік, не повірю. По вісьмох днях учні його знову були в домі, і тума був з ними. Увіходить Ісус, а двері були замкнені, і стає посередині, і каже, «Мир вам!» Потім каже до Томи, «Вклади твій палець сюди і глянь на мої руки, і простягни твою руку і вклади її у мій бік, і не будь як не віруючий, але віруючий». Тома відповів і сказав до нього, «Господь мій і Бог мій!» Каже йому Ісус, «Тому що ти бачив мене, віруєш, щасливі ті, які не бачили і увірували». Багато ще інших чудес учинив Ісус на очах своїх учнів, що їх не записано в цій книзі. А ці записано, щоб ви увірували, що Ісус є Христос, Син Божий, та увірувавши, щоб мали життя, щоб мали життя в Його ім'я. Щасливі ті, які не бачивши у віру. У ім'я Отця і Сина і Святого Духа Христос Воскрес. Дорогі брати і сестри, Іванське читання описує нам цікаву подію після Воскресіння Господа нашого Ісуса Христа, яка трапилася з одним із Його учнів. У Святому Письмі ми можемо знайти чимало різноманітних розповідей та описів, чимало корисного для себе та для своєї душі. Тут ми можемо почерпнути інформацію про гріх та суд, про покаяння та спасіння, про смерть та вічне життя. Проте тут також ми можемо знайти чимало епізодів та героїв, котрі викликають у нас часом посмішку. Напевно, на першому місці стоїть апостол Петро із своїм запалом, поспішністю і самовпевненістю. А друге місце посідає апостол, чиє ім'я пов'язане із відомим висловом «Невірний Тома». І це завдяки єдиному моменту, котрий відбувся упродовж пасхального тижня, коли Воскреслий Христос з'явився всім своїм учням, окрім апостола Томи. Цю подію детально описує Євангелист Іван. 
Всім нам вона досить відома та знайома. Чому апостол Тома викликає у нас усмішку та подих? Запитуємо себе сьогодні. Зі святого передання ми дізнаємося, що він походив із Галилеї і був рибалкою, як і інші апостоли. Святе письмо називає його словом єврейським «дідім», що означає «близнюк». Хоча не пояснює нам цього прізвища. Ймовірно, він був чимось схожий до Ісуса, свого вчителя, тому і носив таке прізвище. У житті Ісуса про апостола Томі ми дізнаємося із трьох епізодів. Перше, про нього згадується в історії про Лазаря, коли до Ісуса надійшла звістка, що його друг Лазар захворів. Спочатку Ісус не звертає на це уваги, але потім, після двох днів, Ісус несподівано пропонує йти в Юдею. Учителю, оце недавно Юдеї тебе каменувати хотіли, а ти знову туди йдеш. Апостоли відмовляють Ісуса йти в Юдею. Але тут стає апостол Тома на прізвисько Близнюк, сказав до співучнів, ходімо і ми з ним, щоб разом умерти. Ось цей короткий епізод показує, дорогі брати і сестри, рішучість та відвертість нашого апостола Томи. Він не прагне відмовити Христа, не шукає для себе виправдання. Його роздуми доволі прості. Потрібно піти, отож ходімо. Потрібно померти, отож помремо. Напевне, Тома, не бажаючи померти в Юдеї, проте мужня говорить, ходімо і ми з ним, щоб разом умерти. Як бачимо, дорогі брати і сестри, він є самовідданим учнем, котрий не переймається власною долею. Такі люди не нарікають, коли їм погано, не підводять, коли їм довіряють інші. Він в душі так і прагне бути схожим на Ісуса. Інша подія показує нам ходіння томи з Христом під час пасхальної вечері. Христос говорить до учнів великі слова, котрі підбадьорюють та скріплюють нас у наші важкі хвилини життя. Господь каже – Нехай серце вам не тривожиться. Віруйте в мене, і в мене віруйте. Багато осель у домі мого отця, а коли б то не так, то сказав би я вам, що йду приготовити місце для вас. А коли відійду і приготую вам місце, я знову прийду і заберу вас до себе, щоб де я були і ви. А куди я йду, дорогу ви знаєте. І ось тут ми чуємо слова апостола Томи. Ми не знаємо, Господи, куди йдеш. Як же ми можемо знати дорогу? І Ісус промовляє до нього. Я дорога і правда і життя. До Отця не приходить ніхто, якщо не через мене. Тут ми бачимо, дорогі брати і сестри, тому не невіруючим, а допитливим. Христос сказав, ніби такі прості слова, «В домі мого Отця іду приготовити місце вам». А Тома не розуміє їх значення. І він не боїться показати себе допитливим або нетямущим. Коли Христос заговорив про це, то Тома відразу перепитав, що йому було незрозуміло. Він прямо запитує. Ми не знаємо, Господи, куди йдеш. Як же ми можемо знати дорогу? Тома, дорогі брати і сестри, 
був справжнім учнем в прямому значенні цього слова. Він ставить питання, а у відповідь отримує чудові відповіді. Як часом нам бракує його довіри і цікавості? Бо так часто ми не маємо, тому що не просимо, не знаємо, тому що не запитуємо. А він показує нам дитячу простоту, щирість і прямоту. Як нам, дорогі брати і сестри, важко перестати турбуватися тим, що про нас подумають інші? та вчитися запитувати один одного та Господа Бога. І ось третій, найголовніший момент в житті Томі – це зустріч з Воскреслим Христом. Пасхальний тиждень, його немає серед апостолів, а їхні свідчення не справляє на нього жодного враження. Він каже, якщо не побачу на його руках знаків від святі, від цвяхів, і не вкладу свого пальця у місце, де були цвяхи, а й руки моєї не вкладу у бік його, не повірю. Ось і всі його слова. Минає вісім днів, коли Христос знову приходить до своїх учнів, можливо, приходить спеціально, щоб переконати учня, котрий перебував у сумнівах. Ми не знаходимо жодного опису, що Тома насправді доторкнувся до Христових ран. Проте бачимо його свідчення віри, його трепетний вигук «Господь мій і Бог мій». Що говорить для нас цей вигук Томи? Він відкриває нам просту істину – що Христос є Бог. Він показує віру в того, хто стоїть поруч Нього – Ісуса Христа, Господа та Бога. Нас дивує, дорогі брати і сестри, чому Христос знову прийшов до своїх учнів. Він – Господь неба та землі. Знає, що відбувається в серцях Його учнів та робить усе – щоб підбадьорити їх та скрепити їх. І ось день свого Воскресіння Ісус являється і Марії Магдалини, котра стояла і плакала. Через тиждень Він з'являється Томі, котрий не міг повірити, поки не побачить. Через деякий час Він з'явиться Петрові, котрий збирався покинути апостольську працю та намагався знову зайнятися рибальством. Христа, як і раніше, турбує доля своїх учнів. Його так само, дорогі брати і сестри, глибоко хвилює та турбує стан наших з вами душ. Напрямок нашого життя. У хвилину смерті мій з'являється Стефану, а згодом і Павлові у хвилини найбільших випробувань. І ось сьогодні він знаходиться так близько біля кожного з нас та очікує простої віри, без доказів та підтверджень. Він каже до нас сьогодні, як в свій час сказав до апостола Томи, щасливі ті, які не бачивши, увірували. А нам здається, що навпаки. Щасливі ті, хто бачили Воскресло Христа, хто ходив з ним, хто чув та міг доторкнутися до нього. Блаженна Марія, блаженні учні, котрі йшли Емаус, блаженний Тома. А Христос не перестає навчати і каже – Щасливі ті, які не бачивши, увірували. Чи стосуються ці слова до нас? На жаль, в наш час люди зайняті, шукаючи знаків та чудес, забуваючи, що справжній християнин – це той, хто без жодних чудес вірить. 
Адже основа нашої віри – це не те, що ми десь почули чи щось побачили, а те, що ми прочитали у святій книзі Біблії. І тільки тоді наша віра стане міцною, нас вже більше не зможуть заставити засумніватись жодні принади, неправдиві чуда, хитрі лже пророки. І нехай весь світ рушиться, а віра наша залишиться твердою і непохитною, бо ми віримо не своїм очам, а Божому Слову. Нехай ці слова Щасливі ті, які не бачивши, увірували, відносяться, відносяться до кожного з нас і пробудять в нас живу та міцну віру та, та прокладуть дорогу до вічного життя. Амінь. Христос воскрес! Промомо всі з усі душі з усі ми всі нашої промомо. Господи, помилуй. Господи, вседержителю Божого ці наших молимось тобі вислухай і помилуй. Господи, помилуй. Помилуй нас, Боже, з великої милості твоєї молимось тобі вислухай і помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, Тішого Вселенського архірея нашого Франциска Папа Римського, за блаженнішого патріарха нашого Святослава, за правосвященнішого митрополита нашого Кир Лаврентія і за болювого єпископа нашого Кир Давида, за те, що служать і послужили у святому храмі цьому, і за отців наших духовних і всіх у Христі братів наших. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще молимо за Богом бережений народ наш за правління і за все військо. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще молимо за Господу Богу нашому, що вислухав голос молитви на злішників і помилував рабиню Твою Марію Ковальчук та охорон... Ковальчик та охоронив їх і від усякого смутку біди досади і нужди, та від усякої недуї душевної і тілесної. Подаю здоров'я та довгий вік промому всі скоро вислухай і помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще молимо за опоки душі померлого. Слухи Біла Сліпчук, та щоб проститися йому у всякому прорічні добровільному і недобровільному, щоб Господь Бог усилив душу його, де всі світі праведні спочивають. Вислухай нас, Господи, і помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще Ось тобі, Господеві Богу нашому, що прийняв цю жертву на відпущення гріхів наших, та захорони, як всесильний, вірних твоїх від смертоносної недуги та людої хвороби, що панує у світі. Нехай ця пандемія не буде часом відверненням від всемилосердного Бога, але при задумою над власним буттям. Виви своє милосердя до хворих, скріплюючи їх у вірі. Подай сили і наснаги для медиків. Дай нам милосердя, щоб не закривати свій погляд від потребуючих, але всіляко старатися спішити їм на поміч. 
Особливо просимо Тебе про ласку, доброго проводу для державних мужів, щоб у цей час вони своїми рішеннями добре провадили і унеможливлювали поширення вірусу. Господи, вислухай нас і милостиво помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще молимо, Господеві Богу нашому, щоб висловило смоління нас грішних і помилував слух своїх. Анну Юрія Олену, Івана Шону Тайсіна Коїна, Тараса Михайла Лесі Романа Олену, Таню і робів Божих Оксану Ігора, Зоряну та її родину, Наталю та її родину, і всіх парафіян і жертводавців святого храму сього, і охорони нас від всякої скорби, від гнівої нужди, і всякої болізні, душевної і тілесної, і дарував нам здоров'я з доголіттям, промов мов всі. Господи, вислухай нас і милостиво помилуй. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй. Ще молимо за тут присутні людей, і що оглядають нас онлайн, що очікують у тебе великої багато і милости, за те, що творить нам милостині за всі православні християни. Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Господи, помилуй, Нині повсякчас і на віки вічні. Амінь. Тільки вірні ще і ще, мирі Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. Премудри. Що під владою Твої завжди береженнями Тобі славу воссилали, Отцю і Сину, і Святому Духові нині, по всяк час і на віки вічні.
Боже, во святая святых и благословение Господа. Всех вас, православных христиан, хай поменял Господь Бог у царстве своим, завжди, ныне, после часа и на веки вечни. Святі, що Вселенського архірея нашого Франциска Папу Римського, блаженішого патріарха нашого Кир Святослава, преосвященішого митрополита нашого Кир Лаврентія і боголюбивого єпископа нашого Кир Давида, весвященичі діяконський монашеський чин, боголюбивий український нарід наш, Пресно пам'ятник титери, благодітелі і украсителі, і жертводавці всі до храма сего, і всіх вас, православних християн, нехай помене Господь Бог у царстві своїм, завжди нині, бо всяк час, і на віки віки. Помолися за мене, співслужителю мій. Дух Святий найде на тебе, і сила Вишнього осіни тебе. Той же Дух нехай співдіє з нами в ці дні життя нашого. Поміним на Владико Святий. Нехай поміне тебе, Господь Бог, у царстві своїм завжди, нині, і повсяк час, і на віки вічні. Амінь. Повні молитву нашу, Господеві, Господи, помилу, За принесені чесні дари, Господеві, помолімся, Господи, помилу, За святий храм цей ти, що з вірою побожністю і страхом Божим ході до нього, Господеві, помолімся, Господи, помилу, щоб визволитися нам від усякої скорби, нівої нужди, Господеві, помолімся. Господи, помилуй. Ще дратами і ненародного Сина Твого, що одним благословенний Іси, з присвятим і благим і животворним Твоїм Духом, нині, бо всяк час і навіки вічні. Двері, двері в премудрості, будьмо уважні. Вірю в єдиного Бога Отця Вседержителя, Творця неба і землі всього видимого і невидимого. І в єдиного Господа Ісуса Христа, Сина Божого, Єдинородного від Отця Родженого перед усіма віками. Світло від світла Бога Істинного від Бога Істинного. Родженого Несотворного Єдиносушно за цим, що через Нього все сталося. Він задля нас, людей, нашого ради спасіння зійшов із небес. І воплотився з Духа Святого і Марії Діві і став чоловіком. І був розп'ятий за нас за понтія плата і страждав і був похований. І воскрес у третій день сід на списанням, і вознісся на небо, і сидить праворуч Отця, і вдруг і прийде зі славою сидих і живих, і мертвих, а його царство не буде кінця. І в Духа Святого Господа Животворного, 
що від Отця і Сходи, що за всем сином рівно поклоняє мій рід благословами, що говорив через пророків, єдину святу свободну апостольську церкву і сповідню на хрещення і на відпущення гріхів, очікує воскресіння мертвих і життя майбутнього віку. Амінь. Станьмо гідно, станьмо зі страхом, будьмо уважні, щоб святе приношення в мирі приносити. Мирний світ у жертву хвалі. Благодать Господа нашого Ісуса Христа і любов Бої Отця і причастя Святого Духа нехай буде з усіма вами. Серця Ви нас-ли Господа. Співаючи, викликаючи, взиваючи, промовляючи. Щоб 
Ще приносим до ви, 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 І дарися тим твоїм церквам, щоб ми цей час і сирові доволітні правильно навчались. Слово Твоє істине. І дай нам єдиними устами, єдиним серцем славити і оспівати бечесне бедичне ім'я Твоє. Отця і Сина і Сідого Духа нині був взяв час і навіки вічні. І нехай будуть милості великого Бога і Спаса нашого Ісуса Христа з усіма вами. Всі святи, поминувши ще і ще мирі, Господеві, помолимося. Господи, помилуй! За принесені у свячені чесні дари, Господеві, помолимося. Господи, помилуй! Щоб чоловіку любить Бог наш, прийнявши їх у святий наднебесний духовний свій житовник. О Твої царство і сила і слава, Отця і Сина і Святого Духа, нині був вся в час і навіки вічні. Боже, милостиві, будь мені грішним. Будь мовважні. Святе є святе. Роздробляється, розділяється, але з Божою роздробляється, але діля, що буде діля, 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 Ісус Христос переможець. Ісполення Духа Святого. Дякую, 
Господи, сповідую, що ти є сир істину Христа, син Бога живого, що прийшов з тих вічників спасти з яких перші я. Вечері твій тайні сьогодні, Сине Боже, в мене при часі цим прийми, по ворогам твоїм тайні не повім, і по цілунку не дам тобі, як Іда, але як розбійник сповідаюся тобі. Поміни мене, Господи, коли прийдеш у царці твоїм. Помини мене, Владико, коли прийдеш у царстві Твоїм. Помини мене, Святий, коли прийдеш у царстві Твоїм. Нехай не на суди, не на осудження, буде мені причаси святих Твоїх тайн, Господи, а на стілення душі і тіла. Боже, милостиві, будь мені грішні. Боже, очисти гріхи мої, помили мене. Дещо ще сам на грішах, Господи, прости мені. Зі страхом Божим і вірою приступіть. Христос воскрес із мертвих воскрес. Смертю смерть подала і тим, що пропа, і тим, що пропа, і тим, що пропа, життя. Мій Ісусе, я вірю, що Ти присутній у святому таїнстві. Люблю Тебе над усе, і моя душа тужить за Тобою. Не можу зараз Тебе прийняти у Євхаристії, тому хоча б духовно прийди до мого серця. Запрошую Тебе, відчиняю навстіж двері мого серця, згадуючи Твої слова». Ось стою під дверима і стукаю. І якщо хто почує мій голос і відчинить двері, я увійду до нього і буду вечеряти з ним, а він зі мною. Я весь єднаюся з тобою. Ісусе, моє найвище добро і моя солодка любови, торкнись мого серця і запали його, щоб воно завжди палало любов'ю до тебе. Амінь.
Спаси, Боже, людей Твоїх, і благослови наслідня Твоє. Христос воскрес, і смертвих воскрес, смертю смерть подолай. Благословені Господні на вас, Його благодати, чоловіку любим завжди, нині, бо всяк час, і на віки віки. Амінь. Вознесіся, Небеса Божа, просіться, Небеса Божа, слава Твоєму, вознесіся. Христос Воскрес, Христос Воскрес, Христос Воскрес, Святих Божественних, Пречистий, Безсмертний, Небесних і Животворний, Страшний, Христових Тайн, Достойно подякуємо Господеві! Господи, помилуй! Заступи, спаси, помилуй, Охорони нас, Боже, Твоєю благодаттю! Господи, помилуй! День увесь досконалий, Святий, Мирний, Безвічний, Випросивши самі себе один одного, і все життя наше Христобові віддаймо. Тобі, Господи. Бо Ти є освячення наші, Тебі славу відсилаємо Отцю і Сину, і Святому Духові, нині во всяк час і на віки вічні. Спаси людей твоїх, Боскові, спадкоємство твоє, повноту церкви твоєї корони, ось святих тих, що любить усу дому твого, тих послав божественно твоєю силою, і не залиши нас, що діємось на тебе. Ми світу тьому даруємо церквам твоїм реям. Богом береше нові народи в нашому управлінні всім людям твоїм. Бо всяке добре давання, всяке свершення, і дар святий, і святий від тебе, очі світла, і тобі слава і благодарення. Василаємо Отцю і Сину, і Святому Духу, і нині по всяк час, і на віки вічні. Благословення Господні на вас є облагодати, чоловіко любим завжди, нині, во всяк час і на віки вічні. Господи, 
Kristos šiavos krasės mertvik smertius merkų daulauju tiems šio rubok žitia daruvau, Įstinai būna, šmogit vam į pričius, tai svoje materį, įžyvus į tavo atsinašo Ivano archiepiskupo Konstantino Ralo Glutų Ustoho, svietos viešinų mūčininkės Safata šajo kramcai svieti, į visiek svietik tvojį, o milai spasėt nas, jak blagai čiulaviko liūvę. Kristos vaskres. Kristos vaskres. Kristos vaskres. Aš čia rasardešti dėkai jau sim, kto sėgodį buvo z nami u cijų čudovų nedėlių, na buvo služeni, prisvečeni antipaskį, abu drugą nedėlę pislė velikodnia, jaki mes svetkui uzgadavo svetu atumį, a takos tim, kto z nami buvo na online, dėkai jau za vaši teplį molitvį. Ja dūmai, šio vis ten jėdnaja nas še bilšė, jėdnaja nas Bogom, jėdnaja jėdin z odnim. Tuoš, nechai Bože, blagoslovenė būdai vsegodnišnį dėn vid vaskreslo Hrista z usima vame. A takos pri nagodį hočiu privitati z dnem narodžinia sladajimo najširišiai pobaženia Marijai Kovalčiuk, otsiu Jaroslavį Dumec, Ron Bernard, Davidovi Kostiuk, ta vsim, kto svetkoval o rodini svetkoju sėgodinį, čia svetkoval minulogo tėžnė, abu būdai svetkovati v nastupnį nedėlių, protėgom cio tėžnė. Tož nechai, Bože blagoslovenė, būdai z vami na mnogi į blagi vaši lėta. Yeah. 
Oh!